Close your eyes and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself. Tell yourself, may I understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. This is goodwill that's informed by a right view, realizing that happiness and sorrow come from our actions. So we want to be happy, we have to look to our actions, see what we're doing that's unskillful, and change it. Then we spread goodwill to others. May they understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. Now that's going to be their choice, but you don't want to do anything to get in the way of that choice. Anything you can do to influence it in the right direction, you're happy to do it. We keep this as the background of our practice. We try to extend thoughts of goodwill every day, not only while we're chanting, but take a special time out every day just for yourself. Think thoughts of goodwill all around. And remind yourself what that means. Ill will can mean seeing that someone has done something wrong and you want to make sure that they get punished for it. It seems right, it seems fair. But the better way is to approach, the, as the Buddha approached Angulimala, instead of punishing him for all those murders he'd done, he saw that he did have a potential for awakening, so he focused on that, brought Angulimala to his senses, and then saved him from a lot of bad karma. And even the results of his past bad karma, because of his attainment, he was able to work free. So even though his just deserts would have been a lot of deaths, the Buddha found a better way out. And it's good for us to think of a better way out in the same way. People we don't like, think of, people we think have been cruel and unfair, may they see the error of their ways and change. Because after all, the results of karma depend not only on the action, but also on the state of mind when the action bears fruit. And if you have goodwill for people, you want them to have a good state of mind. You want them to extend thoughts of goodwill, to be free from influences from pleasure and pain, to be virtuous, to be discerning. The person in that state, even that person has karma from the past, doesn't have to suffer so much from it. And of course, that's what we want for ourselves, too. Do we want to be in a position where we have to meet up with all the bad things we did before we get past. The Buddha is giving us a card. It's get out of jail. Not quite free. You still will be some. There will still be some pain, but at least you can get past a lot of the pain that would have otherwise come from your past actions. So try to develop that kind of state of mind. Expansive, goodwill for everyone. Compassion for everyone, empathetic joy for everyone who's happy. Equanimity for all the cases where you can't make an, a difference. And then work on not being overcome by pain, not being overcome by pleasure. Learn how to deal with pleasure and pain. Learn how to use pleasure and pain for a deeper purpose. That's when you're wise. That's when you're working for your true well-being which is goodwill and form a right view.